Do you have a favourite video game? That is a very tough call. Um, because computer games tend to have a beginning, middle and end. And then, you know, once you're done, you move on to the next one. Unlike role-playing games, which technically you can play forever, but which I also have a lot of. Uh, I tend to play on consoles because it's hard to keep a PC up to date enough to play the latest stuff. And most of those games also come out on consoles. And with a console, it's pretty much just plug and play and, and you can go, you know, that's so that's appealing to me so I'm a console peasant and use my PC largely for work um, which allows me to keep a PC for longer without needing upgrades uh, let's see started on the Acorn Electron I think um, so my dad was typing in programs in basic for me to blow I think there was a UFO shooter um, then from work he would bring back an apricot and there was a sort of bombing run game that I quite liked on that. Um, then I had a ZX Spectrum. Um, there was a War for Middle Earth game on that, which crashed constantly, but which I enjoyed up until that point. Uh, Motos was a, a cheap, I think it was uh, 199 uh, Mastertronic game, I think, which I liked a lot. I liked the um, Off-White Knight series on the Spectrum as well. Uh, game Over, not just because the uh, Chris Akios art, or you could see a nipple on the advert, but for, that was a good game anyway. Exelon as well, I suppose. Uh, a Tick Attack, <laughs> things like that. You're not going to know what any of these are, are you? Um... Then I graduated to an Atari ST, which going from 8-bit to 16-bit was uh, was huge, whereas gradations between consoles are a bit less noticeable these days. Um, on the Atari, I liked Xenon, Xenon 2, um, shoot 'em up construction kit. Um, there were a, a bunch of a bunch of interesting games. On, on the Atari, I buggered if I can remember them all. Populous, that was good. Um, basically, anything by the Bitmap Brothers was good. Gods and so on. They had a, they had a way. Uh, Speedball Deluxe. They had a way of really getting the most graphically out of the machines, largely through style, I guess. And then we move on to the PC era. So I'm guessing like uh, Tie Fighter. Um, Wing Commander, Flight Sims, uh, Mech Warrior, things like that. Um, then there's the shift to consoles, you know, PlayStation 1, PlayStation 2, and so on. Final Fantasy in that era uh, of the PS1, PS2, the original Diablo, I guess. Um, and since then it's been mostly consoles, but it, I find the games that I tend to come back to more and more a sort of simpler, almost meditative sorts of games like uh, RimWorld or Dwarf Fortress. Now it's got a graphical interface that's usable. Um, no Man's Sky. I, I liked No Man's Sky even on release just because you could kind of zen out and explore planets and move from system to system. And yeah, it was, it was more like a, a meditation. Minecraft, obviously. Um, lately I enjoyed Baldur's Gate but it didn't blow me away I played Evil West which was quite fun but uncomplicated um, and uh, Front Mission the remakes of Front Mission I've been playing those are a lot of fun but now I can't seem to settle on any particular game so I've just been playing puzzlers like Lumines and things so I, I am a connoisseur of many different types of video games. Um, let's put it that way. <laughs>